Hi guys, Captain Glenwell here and welcome to another video. Today I would like to talk about Absent and the link of Absent with Steampunk. Now what does Absent have to do with Steampunk? Well the biggest link I can explain immediately and it is the time period. Steampunk is based on the Victorian era, so the years 1800 till 1900. And guess what? Absinthe was one of the most popular drinks in that time. Everyone that could and liked Absinthe drank it. Rich, poor, artists, bankers, uh, whatever you can think about, everyone drank it. At a very big moment in France, it was more consumed than wine. And there's a whole story around that also, but that's for another time. Now, what else links Absinthe with steampunk is the mystical around it. The mysteriousness of the green fairy, of the stories of the forbidden drink. Still a lot of people think you can get crazy of Absinthe. You can see green fairies if you drink it and that it's an illegal drug or an illegal substance. Well. I'm sorry, but you won't see any green fairies if you drink absinthe. And yes, it is legally available in most countries. So if you like anise flavored uh, food or drinks, then absinthe is definitely something for you. But then again, you have the persons who will say it's not the same recipe, it's not the same as the original absinthe or the Czech absence, or uh, I don't know. Yes, it is. The absence that we know today are exactly the same as they used to make them in the years 1800. The only difference with uh, today's absinthe is that the substances that are used in absinthe, the ingredients that are used to make absinthe are controlled, which keeps out the better uh, blind making rip-off bathtub mate absence not that you don't have bad absence believe me I know but back to the green fairy I have seen a lot of steampunk green fairies and it always makes me happy to see a new green fairy on an event or pictures and see that the person that made that character actually knows things about absence now I don't think it will surprise any of you, but Absinthe is actually one of my favorite drinks. And I have uh, a small collection of those Absinthe. And we also use our knowledge and our Absinthe collections at uh, Steampunk events, where we, with Steam Nation, give the history of Absinthe, where we tell the people the true history of Absinthe and the we take out the lies and the wrongs of absent out of this world so if you can see us at an event with our bar come and ask us come and listen to our story of absent and listen to the true history of it now furthermore i would like to ask you guys who of you has ever drank absent who of you has never drank it and have you ever uh, prepared it in the right way as you saw in this whole video and didn't drink it just pure because that's not a good way so have you ever drank absinthe uh, will you ever drink absinthe uh, do you like it do you detest it tell me what are the weirdest stories you have ever heard about absinthe what are things that were taught to you that are probably wrong or that you want to know if they are wrong or right tell me ask me go ahead place it in the comments uh, ask me on Facebook on Instagram I don't know I don't care just tell me and ask me so that's it for today I hope you liked this video and I'll catch you next time bye